On July 8, 2023, according to a tweet from OSI and Technical, the 47th Mechanized Brigade was seen using the Swedish RBS-70 launcher in the conflict between Ukraine and Russia. Sweden had promised the delivery of RBS-70 man-portable air defense systems. In the context of the war in Ukraine, many deliveries are promised and sent, but the arrival of the equipment sometimes occurs long after the announcement. It is therefore always a small event to see one on the battlefield, as is the case here with the Swedish RBS-70 manpads. Let's take a closer look at the technical characteristics of this type of launcher. The RBS-70 is a short-range man-portable air defense system manpads, developed in Sweden and adopted by many armed forces worldwide. Since its introduction in 1977, it has remained an essential element of air security and has participated in various conflicts, including the Iran-Iraq War, the 1992 Venezuelan coup attempts, and the Russo-Ukrainian War, of course. Manufactured by Boffers Defense in the 1980s and by Saab Boffers Dynamics since 2000, the RBS-70 enjoys a solid reputation for reliability and effectiveness. Weighing 87 kilograms, it consists of a stand, sight, and missile. It is 1.32 m long with a diameter of 106 mm and a wingspan of 32 cm. The missile is equipped with a 1.1 kg warhead combined with 3,000 tungsten spheres and a shaped charge. Its detonation mechanism includes an adaptive proximity fuse with three selectable modes, off, normal, and small target. Propelled by smokeless solid propellant, the missile has an operational range of 250m to 9km and can reach an altitude of 5000m. It can achieve a maximum speed of Mach 1.6, 1975km per hour, and Mach 2, 2469.6km per hour, for the Mark II or Bolide. The guidance system of the RBS-70 is based on laser beam riding. The laser beam is emitted from the launcher, and the missile follows it until it reaches its target. This technology offers high precision and effective target tracking capability. The RBS-70 can be deployed on a tripod, weapon platform, asradar, or warship, providing operational versatility. It constitutes an effective defense against short-range airborne threats, including combat aircraft, helicopters, and drones. The use of the RBS-70 by the Ukrainian army is another sign of the growing closeness, and increased cooperation between Sweden and Ukraine. With the two agreements recently signed, as we mentioned on army recognition on July 13, 2023, the Swedes and Ukrainians continue their process of rapprochement.